Purdue is a big public university in the state of Indiana located in Lafayette with over 40,000 students present on campus, which is just an incredible number. I mean, really, that's the size of the town of Beloit that I was in a few weeks ago. Since it's not a freezing cold day and I actually have some time on my hands, I'm gonna interview a bunch of students today and talk to them about why they love Purdue University. If you already checked out the university episode, then you know everything you need to know about Purdue and their admissions and their majors. But let's hear from actual students. Let's hear from the real people that are living the experience. My name is Andrew Lykin. I like electrical engineering. I'm Nandini Lakshminarayanan. I'm studying marketing and I want to go to law school. My name's Austin. Yeah, I'm a pharmacy major. My name's Avery Spencer. I also study hospitality and tourism management as well as public relations and stratcom. Stratcom is like public relations, marketing, and advertisement as well. So I'm more of the PR, but um, stratcom is kind of the general. Corian Johnson. I'm a chemical engineering major at Purdue, sophomore. Alyssa, brain and behavior science, and I'm on a pre-med track. My name is James Mock. I'm in FYE, uh, going into chemical engineering. I'm Kaylee Katsaros. I'm a junior in neurobiology, and I'm minoring in women's studies. I'm Faith Allen, and I'm a sophomore, and I'm also in neurobiology. I'm Kate, biology. My name is Matthew Zhang, computer science. My name is Meredith, study hospitality tourism management. Neva, I'm in exploratory studies. I'm Rashad, master's in civil engineering with concentration in construction management. I'm Tim, electrical engineering. Saira, I study mechanical engineering. Well, I applied to a couple schools around Indiana, but I was really looking for a top class engineering school, so Purdue was pretty much the, you know, the obvious fit for me. I really like the entrepreneurship certificate, so um, I wanted to start my own business after I graduated from college, and I thought that was the perfect way. We also do have the data mine learning communities, and so I'm able to focus on data analytics while studying marketing, so that's really cool. And then I like the vibe that we have here. It felt a lot more homely than like the colleges at home, such as Michigan State and Michigan. Uh, it's got a really good pharmacy program, pretty close by too. So I am a third generation, ninth of my family to come to Purdue, so I kind of had no choice, although Purdue was my dream school no matter what, so kind of had no choice, but also wanted to go here in the first place. It was my first choice as an engineering school because I heard about its prestige and it's very close to proximity, so I decided to apply here. Both my parents went here, so I kind of grew up a Purdue fan. Pretty much just because I narrowed down all my options to about three and it was Purdue and a couple other uh, private schools and really the other ones just didn't have a community. I went through, visited, most people just sitting in their dorms, they had to have things like, had to have events just to get people out of their dorms but I came to Purdue uh, with my dad and we were both like, this is kind of the place. It's kind of cool to have not just academics but a college experience so that's why Purdue is the way. My dad went here so it was always something on my radar but I actually just love that it's in state for me and it has such a good reputation like I've heard people from coast to coast talking about how Purdue is like basically an Ivy League but in the Midwest. I was hoping to go to a school in Illinois but Indiana caught my eye because Purdue has so many STEM programs and also there's so many different communities that you can find here so that's what made me pick Purdue in the end. Both my parents went here, they met here so I've kind of been a Boilermaker since birth. Um, I've been like I've grown up like coming to games and stuff so I just love it here and obviously we have a really good STEM program so yeah it's close to home but you know far enough away that I don't see my family all the time. <laughs> Purdue's got a really good computer science major, and I also really like the campus when I first saw it. That's that's like the main reasons why. I chose Purdue because they have a great hospitality program um, and a lot of great opportunities for students in hospitality, like clubs and just networking and experience, and yeah. Boiler up! <laughs> My older brother goes here and it's decently close to home. Purdue was very good. We have, we have great professors and faculties, you know, the classes are very chill and you get to learn a lot. Because I want to do engineering and uh, I'm from in-state, it's a lot, a lot cheaper than other schools. Since it's pretty world famous, I thought it'd be a pretty great option. Also, the gear program here was a huge push for me to apply here since I've always wanted to go abroad and the fact that there was a study abroad program designated towards engineers was a great option for me. Honestly, Triple X is probably my favorite place to go. Uh, great food, great environment, just all around good time. So the PMU just opened up on Monday, 
and I've been trying some of the new restaurants for lunch and dinner. So that's a really good place. I do a lot of my like online classes there for the past few days. Um, it's really quiet at some places and loud in some places, but it's a great place to be. I like the walk there. It's a good place to study. Marriott Hall, but I also really like Beering, which is kind of both my major um, buildings that I have. I like the Tundra up at Beering, where you kind of can go up there and look around campus, which is really cool. I like to go to the math library to study. Uh, I also like to eat at the Purdue Memorial Union at the new basement. And I also like to eat at Jersey Mike's too. So those are my favorite spots. I really like hanging out on 3rd Street outside of like Starbucks and everything with my friends. I was very blessed as a freshman to be able to have my apartment. So my apartment's always a very, very nice place to go because I have a um, room with some very cool people. Yeah, so I'd say my apartment, Freshens, and the gym. Freshens is the best food spot on campus, 100%. So. Yeah, those are my spots. The Walk reading room, Walk on the second floor. I, I just find myself there a lot because it's so quiet, but I also like the Union now because it's all new and set up. I really do enjoy the Union. Um, I like the architecture there. Um, I like the coffee shop there and now all the restaurants below. Um, it's a nice place to study and meet up with friends. I work at the Union and so they just redid like the hotel over there um, and then they put a restaurant in there. So I really like studying in there. It's really nice. and they have music playing in the background which I like. I always like walk if I can find a spot. Sometimes I go to the physics building on I think the second floor there's like a library computer lab kind of area that I go. I mean the walk is like a really nice place to study. Seeing Lawson when I first came in to like Purdue that was like one of the like coolest buildings I thought. Uh, probably Marriott Hall. I'm biased because I'm an HTM but all my professors are there so I love going to see them and saying hi to them and working with my other HTM peers there. I actually really like over here it's it's really pretty by the uh, engineering fountain and there's also this one pond that's sort of over here I don't remember which one but it's really pretty. And the campus is pretty vibrant and we, we always it's a happening place you know we get to do a lot of stuff here. Korek is definitely my favorite place. It's like the nicest gym I've been to, I think. The Discovery Park is really nice. They have a lot of really nice buildings that I go and study there. Like you're writing the essays, be honest with yourself and talk about what you're really interested in because Purdue can tell if, if you really like what you're into, if you're really into whatever major you're trying to get into, they'll know and they'll take you in because of that. Say all the things that you've done in high school. It's like one of the places where you can brag about anything you've done. So if you started your own business while in high school or like your own club, then that's a great thing to put on your um, application. And just sharing your SAT score, even though some schools have gone um, test optional. If you're not so involved in high school, but you have a great SAT score, that can pretty much boost up your um, application. So do the Common App, be honest on your SAT say it's more about the quality of how you can write and less about the actual topic itself. Um, Purdue is a very prestigious university and once you graduate here it will take you a long way. Um, like when we travel around like if you're wearing a Purdue shirt people will stop you and say boiler up so it's like you are already in as long as you like have that Purdue like connection so yeah. Obviously study hard but to make yourself a weekly schedule so that you can set up your hours of when you're going to study and what you're going to study. I'd probably just say like get yourself out there and join a lot of clubs because when I first came here I kind of felt lonely and then I actually tried and made new tried to make new friends and went out there and tried to express myself more and it actually really helps and you feel a lot better about yourself. Definitely visit. I did bad on that. I didn't visit enough early enough. So I'd definitely visit and um, find your priorities, I would say, outside of money first. But it worked out for me that Purdue is much more affordable than most other colleges that I looked at. Even if you're unsure of whether or not you're good enough or like my friend and I were just talking about this, like comparison definitely kills creativity. Um, definitely just apply. Uh, Purdue is very open to any type of student from anywhere any like corner of the earth I definitely think there's a place for you at Purdue even if you're unsure even if you're you know not in engineering or anything STEM the liberal arts is also a really really great field to go into for Purdue literally anything here is perfect for you so yeah apply but I would say that not to overlook Purdue um, it's a school that is literally an Ivy in the Midwest like my friend said and you can find so many opportunities here not to mention 
research, not to mention um, just meeting people and networking. Like in your essays and stuff, uh, just be yourself, just write about what you know. And I think that, you know, that's kind of what Purdue encourages you to do. Like find your own niche here um, and they want a lot of like diversity and they want your personality to be able to grow and your interest to be able to grow so I would probably just say be yourself and if you have something you're really interested in and really passionate about then that's something that Purdue definitely wants and they will foster that growth here. Really hone in on your essays, do well on those and then Generally, you shouldn't have like too big of a problem getting in. Uh, you, you just need to like believe in yourself. What I loved about Purdue is on their website, it's very descriptive. So if you just go on like my Purdue, it tells you a lot about what you can do. And also everyone is so friendly at Purdue. So if you call anyone, they will help guide you whatever questions you have. And even if someone's not in your major, they are so willing to help you and give you advice. You want to have a lot of extra curriculars in general and you're applying to different colleges. Those are typically pretty good. Apply early. Extracurriculars are really important, so don't forget to do those. Academics are of course important, but getting out and like learning what you want to do is also really important for you. 